Hey everybody, it's the doll boy, and today I'm giving you a detailed look on how I thatch my doll's hair. Thatching is the technique where you crisscross your doll's hair to create a very neat part line. Usually in my reroutes, I prefer to use the technique that I explained in many previous tutorials, like the one where I gave Holly and Laurel from Rainbow High a part line. But for more intricate color combinations, like giving a doll a split hair color, you are going to need to thatch their hair. This technique can also be very helpful when you get new dolls out of the box and their original part line does not look as neat as you want it, like I had with my Georgia Bloom doll. If you enjoy videos like these and you want to learn more doll hairstyling tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell to be notified every time I upload. In this video, I will show my thatching tricks on the reroute I did in my previous video that has rainbow hair on one side and bright red hair on the other side. This way it will be very easy to tell the difference in the two sides, giving you a very clear look on what's happening during the process. Of course this method also works for dolls that have the same hair color on both sides, but that just makes it a little harder to capture the process on camera. As you can see, I already thatched this doll very roughly to give you an idea of what the end result should look like. Here you can clearly tell that the main principle of thatching is that the hair that is rooted on the right side is going to the left side of the hair and the hair rooted on the left will be the right side of the hair. When you're rerouting the hair yourself, your starting point for the thatching process will be when you have two rows of hair next to each other. So what you want to do when you're working on a fully rooted doll whose part you want to fix is brush out the entire hair and then find the two rows that make up the part line. I personally prefer to tie the rest of the hair that is not part of the part line out of the way so that will not get messy during the process. Then I brush out the hair that makes the part line very well and spray the hair with water to separate the sections into two. For my reroute, it is very obvious which hair goes to which side, so for your dolls it might be a little harder to find the hair to thatch. The thing you want to look for is two rows of hair from front to back that are rooted more dense than the rest of the hair. Because that is usually how store-bought dolls will be rooted as well. When you've found the two sections you'll be working on, I like to wet the hair again and comb it out once again with a very fine tooth comb. And now, I'm simply going to start grabbing very thin sections of hair and start laying them to the correct side. As you can see, I'm working on really small sections because that gives the most seamless result. I lay one strand of red hair to the red side and then one strand of rainbow hair to the rainbow side. Then I do one strand of red again, followed by a strand of rainbow. I always use the point of my rat tail comb to help me section the hair strands because that allows me to create very small sections that are still very neat. This is simply what you want to keep doing all over that part line. I really like to wet the hair because for me wetting the hair makes it much easier to separate smaller strands 
and keep the hair on the correct side better than it would when it's dried. One thing you can do to help you to keep the hair on the correct side after thatching is add small clips to the hair you've already thatched to make sure you don't lose the work you've already done. What you also want to be very careful of while thatching is that you're going in the same speed on both sides. To avoid that one side is going to be done much further than the other side because that will give you a very weird look. What helps me with this is splitting up that full width of the bar line in several sections. In this specific case, it was really easy to just do one color at a time and make sure the red was correctly lining up. Then after fully thatching that entire part, I was left with this really neat and satisfying look. After all that hard work, I do want to set that part in place really well. And for that, I take a bowl of boiling hot water. I hold the hair really tight in the position I want it to lay and dip it in the warm water. This makes sure the hair is set to the correct sides, which will stay in place pretty well. Since I still had the rest of the reroute to finish, I twisted the hair from the part out of the way, making sure to keep the two sides separated from each other while doing that. I really hope you liked this tutorial on how to perfect your doll's part lines. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. If you try out this method on your own doll restyles or reroutes, make sure to tag me on Instagram at the dollboy, because I would love to see your work. And to see this doll's complete transformation, you can go and watch my previous video. Then to see more pictures of my dolls, also follow me on Instagram at the dollboy. See you next time!